Okay. So lastly, I wanted to review some preferences in chart of accounts. So I know that chart of accounts are subsidiaries and chart of accounts, I would say, are the backbone of your financial getting started and beginning with NetSuite in terms of your recorded report and your financials. So of course, you need to have your subsidiaries first because every transaction and every record is linking to your subsidiaries, as I've already showed. And now here are my sample chart of accounts. So I can easily I access this through the um, tiles or, or the navigation for my controller dashboard. And I can come and see all of my chart of accounts. You can see I have my bank accounts here, my credit card accounts, and then I have all of my other types of accounts. Something very important to note here, when you're creating a new account or chart of account, keep in mind that the type, this part right here for bank accounts and for credit cards, it can only be tied to one subsidiary. So you're going to see here, if I open up my cash subsidiary or my cash account, it is only tied to where's my subsidiary? My parent subsidiary. It cannot include children because NetSuite has best practice securities that bank accounts can't be shared between subsidiaries. It has to be a one-to-one -one correlation. So here you can see that this is tied to only one as opposed to another, for example, let's say an accounts receivable account. This one can be tied to parent and include children. This is essentially saying that your US, Australia, UK, South America entities and subsidiaries can all share this same accounts receivable account, but your bank and credit card accounts cannot. So if I were coming in with the role of just United States, I would only be able to see accounts tied to the United States subsidiary, bank accounts at least to the United States. I wouldn't be able to see this check in UK. Okay, so structuring and getting a good idea of your chart of accounts is, is something that you wanna hit early on. Um, NetSuite also has accounts here that are non-posting. So you can see these non-posting accounts, they come already in your NetSuite implementation. If, if you were to get NetSuite, you would already see these and they come built into the system. There's a lot of accounts here that are built into the system that act behind the scenes. For example, they're non-posting. So when you have a sales order and you wanna look at the general ledger of your sales order, you're gonna see that it's posting and it's, it's gonna say non-posting to this sales order account or purchase order account. That's just me.